In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the distance between two parallel planes. The question reads, find the distance between the parallel planes defined by these two equations. The steps of doing this are shown underneath, and in step number one, I want to show you that these two planes are in fact parallel. To do this, we don't need to graph these at all. In fact, all you have to do is extract some important information that you can get from the equation itself. Take for example this equation. We can actually come up with the normal vector for this plane by looking at the coefficients of x, y, and z. And in case you forgot, the normal vector of a plane is one that is at 90 degrees to its surface. So taking the coefficients of x, y, and z, we can write our normal vector as 10, 2, and negative 2. These are the components. And the normal vector here is 5, 1, and negative 1. You can tell that these planes are parallel if these are the same or if one is a scalar factor of the other. Take for example vector b. If I multiply each of these components by 2, I'll end up with the components of a. So these planes are parallel. In step number two, we have to find a point on one of the planes. And we can do that by setting two of the three coordinates equal to 0. For example, we'll take this equation. I'll set y and z equal to 0. And I'll end up with 10x is equal to 5, dividing both sides by 10. I end up with an x value of half. So we have a point along this plane at 1 over 2, 0, and 0. We'll then take this point and substitute it into the formula that you see on your screen, along with the components of the normal vector of the other equation into a, b, and c, where d represents the equation constant. So let's go ahead and plug that information into this formula. The distance between two parallel planes is equal to the absolute of a times x sub 1, which is half. a is equal to 5 times 1 over 2 plus b, which is 1 times 0 plus c, negative 1, times 0. And the d of this equation, you might think it's positive 1, but you want to bring all the terms to one side. You want to put it in general form. And if you do that, you end up with negative 1 as your d. So minus 1, all divided by the magnitude of the normal of that equation, which we found to be 5, 1, and negative 1. So the magnitude is 5 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared square root. And we'll use our calculator. 5 times half is 2.5 minus 1 divided by the bottom, which is the square root of 25 plus 1 plus 1. And we end up with the square root of 3 over 6, which is approximately 0 0.2886. And there you have it. That is how to find the distance between two parallel planes.